first of all, what is insulin-like growth factor one? Well, insulin-like growth factor, as the name implies, is a growth hormone, growth factor. And it looks a lot like insulin. Now, most of us produce insulin-like growth factor, and we should. In fact, up until the age of 40, we, in general, produce a lot of growth factor because we're growing. After age 40, however, our insulin-like growth factor should decline. Why? Because if you look at super, super old people, late 90s, early 100s, in my practice and in other practices, they tend to run very low insulin-like growth factors. And if you look at people who have low insulin-like growth factors, they have a very low incidence of cancer development, as opposed to people who have a high insulin-like growth factor actually have a very high rate of cancer development. And it makes sense. Growth factor. As we get older, quite frankly, there's nothing in us that we want to grow. There are really three factors that influence our level of insulin-like growth factor. One of them is the more sugar we eat or things that turn into sugar, the higher our insulin-like growth factor goes. But the second is the more animal protein we eat, and that includes eggs, the higher our insulin-like growth factor goes. The third factor, which I talk a lot about in Unlocking the Keto Code, is the more time-restricted eating, intermittent fasting we do, limiting our eating window to about six to eight hours per day, the lower our insulin-like growth factor. And in general, all you need to eat in terms of protein is about 20 to 30 grams per day. Again, protein stimulates insulin-like growth factor. Plus, unbeknownst to a lot of nutritionists, is we recycle our own protein. Every day we slough about 20 grams of protein into our digestive tract from cells that line our intestines, and we eat that protein. So every day you're eating 20 grams of protein that you didn't know you had to eat because it came from yourself. 